오빤 강남 스타일. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 pop songs that make you leave the dance floor. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable pop tunes that make us want to do anything but bust a move. What tracks make you take your dancing shoes off? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Sugar, Maroon 5 Okay, so we'll admit that if Maroon 5 actually showed up at our wedding and surprised us with this song, we would start grieving. We would probably go harder than Adam Levine and Blake Shelton went after each other on The Voice. However, given the normal situation of a DJ busting out sugar at a party, there's a good chance you'll find most people heading to their seats. Red velvet, I want that sugar sweet. Don't let nobody touch it unless that somebody's me. It's not that it's a bad song. It's more that we all heard it about 1,000 times back when it was first released. Simply not enough time has passed yet for it to go from annoyingly overplayed to catchy and nostalgic. <laughs> Number 9. Yummy, Justin Bieber No matter how you feel about Justin Bieber, you've got to admit he has put out plenty of danceable tracks over the years. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yummy. However, 2020's Yummy arguably isn't one of them. Now, we may not go as far as Rolling Stone magazine and call it a stupid song, because there's enjoyable parts. I've been a Lambo, I'm on my way. True house slippers on with a smile on my face. But we still say that it's not exactly the kind of tune that pulsates through your body and gets you itching to dance. For those hungry to get moving, yummy probably won't fill you up and could end up leaving a bad taste in your mouth. Number 8. Gangnam Style – Psy As the first YouTube video to reach 1 billion views, Gangnam Style was a pop culture moment, and it will always have a special place in our hearts. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. We can probably all admit to having tried Psy's horse dance at least once, if not many, many more times. But that was then and this is now. And now, while the chorus will still bring out the invisible horse in a few partygoers, the rest of the song isn't as danceable as you might remember. In other words, Gangnam Style is a great tune to enjoy at the table, but isn't getting most of us running to the dance floor. Open Gangnam Style. Number 7. Friday, Rebecca Black. From Manic Monday to Saturday in the Park, we'll admit to usually liking songs with the day of the week in the title. However, there are exceptions to every rule, and in this case, that exception is Friday by Rebecca Black. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Sure, it was a viral sensation back in 2011, but given the outpouring of negativity surrounding both the song and its video, we're betting most of those 160 million plus views were people hate watching it. Kicking in the front seat. You might think that the song would have some fun, ironic dance floor appeal all these years later, but the second those aggressively auto-tuned vocals start, everyone remembers why we disliked it. Number 6. Viva La Vida Coldplay If it's the end of the night and the goal is to fill the dance floor with slow dancing couples, then Coldplay could be a great choice. After all, they have a plethora of beautiful slower paced tracks a la The Scientist, but when it comes to getting the party going on said dance floor, then the group probably isn't the best option. Never but that was when I ruled the world. 
Viva La Vida might be one of their faster paced songs, but the somewhat unconventional beat really isn't the most conducive for dancing. Just look at Chris Martin's interesting moves in the video. Number 5. Can't Stop the Feeling, Justin Timberlake In 2016, this song was bringing everyone to their feet. I got this feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on It was, as seen in the music video, even creating dance floors out of sidewalks, diners, laundromats and more. But let's just say, it ain't 2016 anymore. Maybe it's because it was so overplayed, or maybe it's because the song has become so tied to the animated Trolls movie. But hearing it today makes many adults feel like they're at a children's birthday party. Whatever the reason, this catchy tune is more likely to have folks walking off the dance floor than rushing to fill it. Number 4. YMCA – Village People Sure, when YMCA starts, there will be an initial cheer and a rush to the dance floor. But that excitement tends to wear off pretty quickly when people recognize that the only reason they're there is in anticipation of the chorus. Because yeah, acting out the letters with your arms can be strangely exciting. While it is cheesy fun for the first time, most of us realize quite quickly that it isn't all that enjoyable. And it certainly isn't worth awkwardly waiting on the dance floor for it to come around again. Number 3. Cotton Eye Joe – Rednecks We should probably preface this one by saying that we're not counting dance floors in country bars on line dancing night. However, should it be any other kind, there's a good chance that Redneck's version of Cotton Eye Joe will leave it rather sparse. There might be a few who let loose and show off their best moves when this song comes on, especially if it reminds them of their childhoods. Yet for the vast majority of folks, hearing this track means it's time to go get some refreshments and find a quiet corner. Number 2. We Like to Party – The Venga Bus – Venga Boys We like to party as much as the next person, but not if this song is blasting over the sound system. Hey now, hey now, hear what I say now, happiness is just around the corner. We Like to Party by The Venga Boys was a hit in the late 90s. But the truth is, the song annoyed many folks back then as well, and we were just as likely to sit down in 1998 as we are today when those questionable synth beats start pumping. Plus, members of the younger generation will most likely just wonder why in the world a DJ is playing that song for the Six Flags commercials. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Macarena, Bayside Boys Remix, Los Del Rio. Hey, leave the dance floor. <laughs> Heat waves, glass animals. Maybe they're all going to cool off? Heat waves been faking me out. Can make you happy or not? Who let the dogs out? Baja men. We don't need to stick around to find out. Pour some sugar on me, Def Leppard. Those playing air guitar might stick around, but that's about it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Chicken Dance Werner Thomas Unless you're a kid or a guest at a wedding reception, you probably shouldn't be hearing the chicken dance, much less seeing anyone bust a move to it. Okay, everybody, just do what I do. Hit it! And to be honest, most people at the wedding probably don't want to be doing the titular dance either, but they're probably being dragged to the dance floor by a friend who thinks it's hysterical. But let's be honest, it isn't really. That's precisely why non-toddlers and non-wedding goers tend to wiggle their hips and shoulders away from the action when the accordion starts playing. The chicken dance! Oh, oh don't. Right we miss the chicken dance. Can you blame them? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.